Hi everyone, my name is Aoife, um, I'm an Irish marathon runner and uh, I just wanted to share a few things that I'm doing at the moment uh, to keep myself motivated during this lockdown. Um, so I suppose as a runner, uh, I'm lucky enough that I can still get out and do that at the moment. So I try to get out most mornings, uh, first thing I do. Um, and it just uh, helps to set me up for the day, really. Um, so I think it's important for me to remember, and I guess for everyone else to remember also, that there, there are things to look forward to beyond all of this. Um, and there are things that we can still work towards um, at the moment. Um, another thing that I do um, now is I make sure to give somebody a call every day. Um, just to hear someone else's voice um, is going to help you uh, a lot during this time. Um, even pick up the phone to people that you might not have spoken to in a while. Um, it's a really good time to try and reconnect and a lot of people will appreciate you picking up the phone to talk to them as well. Um, and the third thing um, I'm doing at the moment is uh, making sure that I kind of do things other than um, you know, looking at screens throughout the day. So I try to limit myself as much as I can um, until the evening time anyway. So um, that helps me to get stuck into um, things around the house and maybe try things that are a little bit more creative, like um, drawing and writing. Um, so it's good to just kind of get yourself stuck into things like that um, and get your mind off everything else. Um, so those are my three tips really at the moment. Um, I'm also a Pilates teacher so um, what I've done here is I've um, added uh, a couple of videos um, going through a couple of different exercises um, that maybe you can try out if you want. So enjoy. This is our cat kill. So um, just going to take your hands on the floor and on your knees. So you want your wrists in line with your shoulders, knees in line with your hips. And from there, you're going to take a breath in. So you're breathing in to prepare for the exercise. And then as you breathe out, we're going to start to curl up. So we're going to tuck our tailbone in. So imagine if you had a tailor tucking it in between your legs, chin into your chest, and you're lifting up through the spine and press your hands into the floor. As you're holding here, take a breath in. So you want to feel the stretch through the back as you're breathing in. Feel the ribs opening up. And then as you breathe out, we're going to start to curl back down again. So keep the arms straight. You're going to tuck the tailbone out this time, chin into your chest, and you're going to arc up the back. Breathe in as you hold here, and then breathe out. We're going to do that one more time. Breathe in as you hold, and then come back down again. So if you're doing that at home, you can maybe do that five or six times. We're going to hold it there. We're just going to come back. We're just going to flatten out the back here again. And we're going to come into our bird dog exercise. So with that, we're going to take our opposite hand, opposite leg, reaching those out in front. So we want to be nice and strong through the core here. So you want to imagine we're drawing our belly button up toward our spine, up under our ribs. So we have a nice strong core here. And we're going to take our opposite hand, opposite leg, reach those away. So we want to keep the hips in a nice line with each other as we're holding here and lengthening ourselves as much as we can. So we're going to hold it for three. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth as you're holding. And then we're slowly going to bring ourselves back to the floor again. So hand down, leg down. And then we prepare ourselves with the other hand and leg and we're going to reach out. So Pilates also is all really about lengthening the body as much as we can. So you want to reach the arm out, reach the leg out as much as we can. And then we come back down, bring the hand to the floor. So that one really um, is just a lot about focusing on the core. So really make sure you're keeping that core connected the whole time. The last one we're going to do now, we're going to come onto our back. So lying back. Um, so for this exercise, we want our hips to be um, in line with each other. As we start, we want just um, a small gap between our mid back and the floor itself. So you should be able to fit your hand underneath there. Feet are on the floor, hands by your sides. So we're going to take ourselves up and take our legs up one at a time here. So I'm just going to talk you through it. Um, we're going to focus a lot on our posture here with um, the positioning of our spine, okay? So we're going to take a breath in and as we breathe out, we're going to take the left foot up first. We want our knee in line with our hip, nice 
right angle here with our leg. Now before we take the other leg up, we're going to do what we call is an imprint of the spine. So what that means is we're just going to tuck our um, hips, we're going to curl the pelvis upwards. So if you have your fingers on your hip bones here, they're going to start to turn up towards you here, okay? So as you do that, you're going to flatten your spine into the mat. So um, if you were to try and fit your hand under, you shouldn't be able to do that anymore, okay? So this just helps um, just keep the back in a nice neutral position. So again, we're going to take a breath in and as we breathe out, take that foot up um, to meet the other one. And from here, we're going to do some toe taps. So again, this is going to work the core. We want to keep the back flat into the mat here um, again throughout the movement, okay? So we're slowly going to start to lower the left foot first. So we're going to breathe in to prepare and breathe out. We're going to take the foot down, keeping that back flat into the mat. If we find ourselves starting to arc up, you can hold and just bring it down as low as you're able to do while keeping that back flat in the mat. Nice and slow movement and back up again. And we come down with the opposite leg. So we're breathing out as we bring the foot down, breathe in as we hold, and then come back up. We're just going to do one more on each side here. At home, if you're doing it by yourself, you can go for maybe eight to ten on each side. It's going to really challenge that core. And as you progress, you can uh, do a few more of them. So we're going to leave it here now. Bring the feet back down to the floor. As you come back down, you can lift your back back up off the mat, okay?